All right. I thought I had a good parking spot, kind of back in the back corner back here. But uh, let me turn the wipers on. You, uh, you see where all these trucks park? See these guys park? The exit is right there. And there was somebody parked in that hole right there. So there's hardly any room for uh, that guy <laughs> to get out. And, and this guy, and then this guy parked right in the middle of the parking lot right there. This guy's almost been hit three times. And uh, I don't know. <laughs> I really thought I had a good spot. I gotta leave at 6.30 in the morning. And what I'm gonna do, I don't know if you guys can see it in the mirror or not, but I'm gonna hop that back axle up over the curb and uh, put it in the grass because uh, I need to get the, the front of my truck. As you can see, I kind of stick out kind of far. Well, the one thing that <laughs> I've always said, if somebody's gonna hit my truck, just hit it good. Make it worthwhile. Just don't scratch it. Let's see where he's gonna park. Well, I don't know. Once it gets dark, it's gonna be. All right, we survived the night. We didn't get hit. I did back my trailer up over the curb. I'll go show you guys that in a bit. But uh, I wanted to show you. I really thought I was in a nice, uh, safe spot. So that's where I was, right? Or am right there. Let me pan around. So there's no parking spots right here. Now, granted, parking's tight, so you got to use whatever space you can. But I didn't think about that. But see, they were parked all up in here. And they had left one <laughs> one spot for trucks to go through so uh lesson learned not to park here but uh let's uh let's go back uh, uh and i'll show you what i did now it's a little noisy back here but uh i'll just give you an idea of uh the differences between the freight trailer and the flatbed and some of the disadvantages of the flatbed with the spread axle now as you can see we're pretty close right now now last night I was about out to about to right here so uh, but it's a little noisy hang on a second so the difference between or one of the disadvantages of the flatbed is you see how that back axle back there so what I ended up doing is I hopped the curb and put that back axle back there whereas these freight guys see how much overhang they have on their trailer so they can get a lot further back into the parking spot. So, uh, and the reason I wanted to do that was that if somebody were to try to back in or pull out, that my hood wouldn't be sticking way out. So, and then this guy pulled in last night. I think that truck has seen a lot of miles. Uh, so that, uh, well, uh, all right, let's, uh, Let's get going. We got. Uh, we're gonna go pick up our shingles and then uh, make our way down to Oklahoma. I'm trying not to get run over. We're in the service plaza on the toll road on 44. There's the McDonald's and there's a little gas station down there. And then this is all the truck parking. So that's the eastbound side over there. Parking, and you can see in the air. Man, they've had a lot of storms and whatnot. And you can see in the air, it is real heavy and humidity is real thick but this is what we got roofing shingles now this uh roofing shingles with the, the very first flatbed load that i ever hauled was roofing shingles and uh you can see and of course i never get the square straight load they had a little bit of everything uh around but uh Let's go back down and I'll show you. We got 40, a little over 45,000 pounds of shingles. Let's go back down and I'll show you uh, some of the things with the roofing shingles. Now, what you have to watch out for is if you look, see how this is a bundle right here? And then there's another bundle right there. Well, that's the way it looks at the top. So this, this strap is actually holding those two pieces up there some guys will take that extra bundle and lay it across the top uh, for me time wise just use the big uh, and some guys have big edge protectors that are like three four feet long and they work a lot better 
but I just use my big plastic ones uh, and I just throw a bunch of straps so I think I got a total of 14 straps I can throw the straps and wind them up faster than I can get up there and mess with them so uh, and then in the backpack here uh, I just put a little X across the back uh, I did have an incident I did have an incident a couple years ago where they started sliding around so this is one of those uh, that's the interstate right there and this is one of those where the, the exit comes in comes in and uh, right off so it, it could be a little uh, a little risky sometimes but, uh, see if we can go out here so you can see the exit ramp exit from the left side there but, uh, all right let's walk around this side here take a look all right, let's call it quits. Uh, we got to leave in the morning and run down and unload, and we got a long day tomorrow. So, talk to you in a bit. All right, good morning. We're in Oklahoma at the Service Plaza on I 44, about an hour east of uh, northeast of uh, Oklahoma City. We got to go deliver our shingles. Uh, we kind of got a busy day. We're gonna uh, drop this off. I gotta run over to Peterbilt, pick up that light. And then uh, I'm gonna try to get the truck washed. And then I might get my truck inspected. It's about time for a truck inspection. I gotta fix that light first. Uh, let's see what else is going on. And then tomorrow we're gonna pick up our piece of equipment take that home so we should be home Saturday Sunday just to plan um, didn't hit too much bad weather here it's a little windy but uh, I think all the tornadoes were a little north of here so uh, didn't miss that I know a tornado hit over in um, hang on a second let me get out of here this uh, this ramp is a little tricky as you can see you have to enter from the uh, the left side uh, sometimes it can be a little tricky especially everybody's doing 75 80 miles an hour I'm trying to get everything wound up here entrance that's what we need and there is a truck in the way let's see if I can get around it buzzer if I still had it I still got the buzzer I still got the buzzer Let's see where we're supposed to go or what we're supposed to do Ooh. just 
this guy is waiting too. Peterbilt dealer as you can see the big Peterbilt sign now most of the rush Peterbilt's have that sign like with a truck up on it like that that's pretty cool uh, we got to figure out where we can park so we can go inside shouldn't take us too long to uh, get what we need and hopefully we can get out of here Probably some turn around down there. Let's uh, let's do this. We'll park out on the street right here. We just gotta walk in there. Like I said, it shouldn't take us too long, so we'll try to stay out of the way. Oh, you know what? I always prefer facing the right way. Let's uh, let's go get turned around first. That way. We can get out of here. Alright, so we're just gonna spin it around right y'all in the dirt. In the dirt, since we're empty, it won't hurt too much. It won't hurt too much. <laughs> that probably goes out, but I don't know. So I would rather go the way that I know I can get out. That might take a little more work. 
get it done. See how much new truck costs? Too much. Too much. Now's not the time to buy a new truck. Things are slowing down. I keep my old truck, try to keep it pieced together here. She ain't fancy, but she gets down the road. should take long so talk to you in a bit all right we got our part i got the truck washed this is uh this is what uh i needed what was, it? was this light right here and this is what we're going to replace so the little thing inside's messed up it wasn't too bad this was 29 dollars with tax it should be a fairly easy fix pull this plug out this is a direct plug in and then undo these three bolts. There's three bolts on the back side. Undo these three bolts. The light bulb's already in there. So uh, let me uh, let me see if I can do this real quick. And um, it shouldn't take long, but anything on this truck always seems to take longer. So check. All right, right. you got the old one off. So this old. One. Of course, the nuts broke on the back, but that's okay. Here's the new one. So uh, fairly easy. It's just gonna let's see. It goes this way. Gonna go on like that plug it in so just like that can't beat that okay we've got the new one on i wanted to show you this old one so you can see how all this stuff melted in there i'm gonna keep this light of uh i kept the old one here i'll uh, do something with them sorry about that got the old one here so i'll keep that and that goes on there so let's see if it works whoop hang on let's see if it works We'll turn our four ways on and make sure that uh, blinkers are working. Look at that. They're both working. Okay. So now the blinkers are working. Now this little trick, if your truck is equipped with it, to check your brake lights, take your trailer brake lever, pull it down a little bit, and then that will actuate the uh, brake lights so we got two brake lights next thing to check is our running lights and one more time we'll walk up here so we got running lights one more time let's see what we got and we got running lights they're lit up right there all right that's it. Quick, easy fix. Uh, I gotta make a phone call, see if we're gonna get the truck inspected today, and I'll check back in with you in a little bit. All right, I got my truck inspected. Uh, no problems. So we're good to go for another six months. We're, uh, we're, over, here, we're over here at a self-serve truck wash. That's the Flying J. And the shop that I got my truck inspected is at Bos Boselman's truck shop back there. Um, I'm at a self-serve truck wash. I did get my truck washed earlier today, but I like stopping at this little truck uh, self-serve and giving my generator a good rinse off. Uh, I like to keep it as clean as I can so that way I can see if anything's leaking. So I stopped and threw five dollars into the little self-serve car wash thing and washed the generator. So it's looking good. Trailer's looking good. Everything looked pretty good. So uh, tomorrow, um, we're gonna leave tomorrow morning and go pick up our little piece of machinery. And then um, we're gonna head to the house. So uh, other than that, it was a pretty easy day today. Uh, they're not predicting any crazy storms or tornadoes tonight. So uh, hopefully we'll be okay there. But anyway, all right, that's it for today. 
I'm gonna put the lid back on and uh, go over to the truck or truck stop and uh, get a shower. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.